Dear students, now we are going to discuss attenuator in electronic circuits. The attenuator is an electronic circuit which is used to reduce the amplitude of the signal. It is just opposite to the amplifier. Amplifier is used to amplify or increase the amplitude. But this attenuators are mainly used to reduce the amplitude of a signal. So here this attenuator uses the potential divider circuit to reduce the amplitude. Here we can have the resistor arrangements like this. We can give the input V i of t to this R1 and we can take the output V of t across this R2. So here this potential divider circuit provides the output V o of t is equal to V i of t which is multiplied with this R2 by R1 plus R2. So this is known as voltage divider concept. Correct? So here the input is multiplied by a factor R2 by R1 plus R2 then the amplitude of this input signal is reduced. Do you all understand this one? So here the attenuator circuit uses the voltage divider circuit to reduce the amplitude. Do you all understand this one? So in this one there is a practical difficulty or the limitation. In practical case there exists a shunt capacitance across this resistance R2. So this capacitance can be used as an input side of the next stage. So here the reduced attenuator can be given as input to this C2. So this C2 can be known as stray capacitance. So we are going to give the attenuated output as input to this C2. Because of this C2 there may be some distortion. That is the major limitation of this attenuator. Next we are going to analyze the effect of stray capacitance using this Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Here this R1 and R2 can be represented as a resistor value R. This R is equal to what? R1 in parallel with R2. Okay. We are going to give the attenuated voltage A V I of T to this R and we can take the output V of T across this capacitance. As we all know that this R1 and R2 values are very high to provide a high input impedance for the attenuator. It is mainly used to reduce the loading effect. Since these two values are high, we can get the time constant R into C2 is also high. Okay. So here due to this, the time constant R into C2 is large enough which causes distortion. Then the high frequency components get attenuated. In order to avoid distortion and attenuation, as independent of frequency, the compensation is required. So we are going to compensate the effect of C2 by using compensation technique. So here we can consider a compensated attenuator. The compensation is provided by connecting a capacitance C1 in parallel with this R1. Okay. So we have to introduce one more capacitance C1 across this R1 to compensate or to neutralize the effect of this C2. Okay. So when can we achieve this compensation means R1 C1 is equal to R2 C2. Here the presence of stay capacitance can be neutralized by compensating the effect of C2 with C1 across the R1 value. So here the circuit can be redrawn using the bridge method. So in this method we can consider this A and B as a bridge line or branch line for this bridge. Okay. So if we are going to make this R1 C1 is equal to R2 C2 then this line cannot be considered there is no current flow. If there is no current flow we can simply ignore this capacitive effect then we can achieve the compensation for the stay capacitance. So under balanced condition there is no current flown through the branch then we can get V out of T is equal to A into V I of T which is the attenuated output without any distortion. So here the condition is R1 C1 is equal to R2 C2. Applications of attenuators. Attenuators are mainly used to reduce the amplitude of the signal 
in CRO probe. It is mainly used as a volume control equipment in broadcasting technique. It is used to improve the impedance matching in circuits as well as in transmission line applications. Okay.